the MVP race take. You know, it's funny. Baseball MVPs, I really care about. NBA MVPs, I have an emotional investment. I don't want to say that I don't care about the NFL MVP. That's ridiculous. I do. Yeah. But I care least about that. Yeah, Maybe it doesn't because matter. Yeah, it almost feels it, like it just, doesn't it's matter. A, it's the quarterback award. It's exactly it's right. The quarterback it, award. It doesn't, ma- it doesn't matter what anybody else does, no matter how epic of a season Aaron Donald has, where he's just, I mean, literally the most disruptive interior defensive lineman that we've ever seen. And you put him on par with LT's impact when LT was, you know, crushing people off the, the right defensive right edge, offensive left edge uh, for years and changed the way that you had to, look at defensive ends Aaron Donald has done that for interior defensive linemen because you can't single block him because he's going to run right past you (laughs) Um, he's he's strong he's physical yet when has he ever even been in the conversation for the MVP I hear you right he's like clearly the best defensive player um, cumulatively over the last five years that we've that we've seen and he's not ever in the conversation Uh, Todd Gurley had as great an offensive season as any any player could imagine running back when he was with the uh, with the Rams. And, um, you know, they made an excuse to just not give him the MVP by making him the offensive player of the year. And the MVP went to Tom Brady. And so I think it it feels like it's just not available to anybody else other than a quarterback. So why not just make it the best quarterback in the league award? Because that's what it comes down to. It drives Um, me nuts. It drives me nuts as well, too, BD, because the reality is Derrick Henry absolutely should be in the MVP conversation. I know you were, you know, putting, let's put Josh Allen in this conversation. Josh could be, but Derrick Henry is, is 500 and something yards away. 500, I think it's like 40 something yards away um, from breaking Eric Dickerson's all time rushing record in a season, which is 2,100 and like 96 yards or whatever it may be. Derrick Henry is, he could do it. Now mm-hmm. it's going to take him some having like 190 yards over the ne- next three games per game, but hell, he just rushed for 200 and 12, uh, whatever it was, so 220 something. So it, he theoretically could do it. Either way, he's going to push close to 2,000, the 2,000 yard barrier. And if there is not, if there is a more valuable player to their team than Derrick Henry, I don't know who it is. And nobody's even talking about him being in the MVP race, right? So yeah. that's why, that's why it, I agree with you, BT. It frustrates me because, I, I mean, we can pick the best quarterback. Right, who's the best quarterback in, the, in football? Who okay. threw the most touchdowns. That's exactly right. It's, uh, you know what it is? Team and whose team, whose team is, 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 is the best in their conference, right? Yep, it's, and they much. usually coincide. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I hear you, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm in line with you. It's a lazy evaluation, and I can't stand lazy things. I like yeah. to, I like to have to think. I like to have to, I like to be rewarded for all the time that that. And I'm not unique. I mean, you watch it too, but all the time that that we invest watching all of these games, I would like to at least know yeah. that our opinion carries some weight in terms of this award, and it carries no weight. I understand that. It's just it's maddening because if you watch. Yeah, you watch the NBA. One year it could be a point guard, it could be a two guard. I mean, you yep. could have a center, Shaq. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter. Kareem's got six MVPs, right? You watch baseball, even going back to our childhood, and even before that, because uh, well, I guess Vita was the starter at that point. But you know, uh, Roger Clemens won the MVP in '86. Now, Mattingly finished second that year. I thought Mattingly was the best player in baseball. I thought he got hosed. But Roger won it as a starting pitcher. Uh, much more recently, Verlanders won it. You had Clayton Kershaw win it. I remember 1984, the Detroit Tigers started the season 35-5. and five. They won the World Series. Who won the MVP? This is probably one of the most obscure names, especially if you're really young. Willie Hernandez was their relief pitcher. He won it. Dennis Eckersley won it as a re- relief pitcher. I guess that would have been 92. The point being, you can debate and argue the merits of does a pitcher have that true value if you go out there if you're a reliever 40 something games a year 50 maybe if you're a starter and you're healthy 32 to 35 starts a year on 162 game season that's a fine and that's a fair objective conversation but to watch the Tennessee Titans play to your point and strip away his production and lean on the stat war replace yep. somebody with league average right the Tennessee yep. Titans are a 5 and 11 football team no doubt about five it 5 and 11 and you know they what have me- no relevance yeah you know what would be interesting BT cuz you just bring up like war wins against uh, above replacement they need that in the NFL they they started to do some things like this but they've, they've got really- a value stat but go ahead yeah but it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't hit the same way and it's not referenced the same way but yeah. 
If there was a way to do that in the NFL, it would forever change the MVP conversation, without a doubt. Um, if, you, if, 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 if those who vote on it leaned on the stats. Yeah, you know, I know what I mean. But, you know what I mean? But people like us and others in our industry would lean on it because it's something new and unique and different on how to evaluate players. Because, I mean, I, I think about, like, the, the Aaron Donalds of the world. And I'll just go back to that example because he's the easiest one um, where he's leading the league in sacks. And that's great. You know, yeah, but that's only, what, 12 plays so far this season or 13 plays so far this season. But mm -hmm. it doesn't take into account the number of QB pressures, the amount of, you know, uh, sack fumbles, uh, the amount of QB hits, like the, the amount of double teams that, that are required on him that allow, you know, one of his other, you know, front four guys to get to the quarterback themselves. Like it doesn't account for all of the things. Now, pro football focus is probably the closest um, – metric uh, entity that gets uh -huh. gets uh gets towards measuring th those type of things but it's it's kind of like inside football pro football focus unless you like know it and you dig into it it's not it's not easily um digested uh in in in, in common media talk um common media can 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 look at it but like common media vernacular it's not in there right and so we can't we haven't found a way to truly value who's the most valuable person as other than stats and when you want to look at stats qbs are going to dominate that that category yeah and listen look at it this way too as much as you know the great drew Brees, who has obliterated the record book yep. every time drew Brees, i don't know what this proves but it's got to prove something every time drew Brees goes down no matter who plays quarterback, they never lose. That's right. Last year they were five and zero with Teddy Bridgewater. This year they're what uh, three and zero with, with three, Taysom Hill. Three and one. Because they no, lost probably three and one. Three and one. So eight and one. That, that's more than half of an NFL season. Yeah. You've lost one game. Listen, if you said, "All right, B, who are the most valuable players in the NFL?" I would say, in no order, and not based on their stats this year, just that pure value where if they were literally deleted from the equation. Yeah, I the tested. regression. Yep. I would say Rodgers. Yeah. I would say Russell Wilson. Mm -hmm. I would say Derrick Henry. Mm -hmm. And I would say Aaron Donald. Yeah. And everything else to me is negotiable. But those Mah are Mahomes has got to be in there, too. No, Mahomes. no, no. Yeah, no. I, see, this is going to come out the wrong way. No. Because if you have an average quarterback, even – listen – Put Ryan, Ryan Tannehill is above average slightly, yeah. but if you put Ryan Tannehill on Kansas City, right? You put we'll put Alex Smith back. Put on anybody. Kansas. Put Alex Smith back on Kansas City. They're they won winning. eleven games with Alex. They're, a they're bunch. still winning twelve games. You're right. Correct. Yeah. Now, are they going to win the Super Bowl? No, because they're not special. Are they going to be in the mix? Probably. <laughs> yeah. And 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 that doesn't. That's not meant to strip away at the absolute brilliance of Patrick Mahomes, no. who's worth every penny and more. But it is meant to illuminate the inconsistencies in the evaluations of some of these players who well, just don't get the love they deserve. Well, That's I all. think, well, I think That's all. Now, they're not inconsistent because they consistently do the same thing, but it's cons inconsistent in what actually matters to to value. Right. So they we know it, we know what they consistently do. They look at the stats of quarterbacks and they say, OK, you threw 50 touchdown passes. You're the MVP. Mm -hmm. Right. What they need to do is look at who was the most impactful person on this team? Obviously, you got to have the requisite statistics relative to your position. Yep. But who's the most impactful player? To me, it's Derrick Henry. Because you take Derrick Henry off the Tennessee Titans, the Tennessee Titans are – average at best mm -hmm. at best I, they're they're sub 500 they're not even in the conversation exactly they're just not. right and instead they have a chance to win the division and get in the postseason and do all the things that we saw them do last year so I, yeah i agree with you man it's right. it's it's a frustrating conversation with the mvp and it's my it's probably bt why it doesn't get the same kind of love and attention that the baseball mvp gets or um, that the uh, NBA MVP gets because it's 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 it doesn't feel meritorious. Well, it's not equitable. Yes, the evaluations yes. aren't equitable. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell to be notified when we drop fresh content.